What up, Laker Nation? It's your boy DTLF, man, back with another live stream. This time we're going to do it quickie because I'm running a little late. But you know what? I made it, guys. I'm clutch like Kobe. Here I am. Okay, so the Lakers get ready to face the Memphis Grizzlies at Staples Center. Hopefully this one translates into a victory. We desperately need a win, get back on track. Our record this year so far matches last year's record, but it doesn't really tell the story, man. We have a pretty good young team, and we're on the up and coming. However, tonight I think it's going to be really good for us. Um, this is a you know one of those teams that kind of is on par with us. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, Nathan. I'm a little late, but man, I've been running around like a chicken with his head cut off today, so bear with me here, man. But you know what? <clears throat> I made it. Like I said, clutch like Kobe. Um, so... We face the Memphis Grizzlies. We know that's a tough team. No matter what the record is saying, you know, it's 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 a, a, a tough team, and uh, we're going to struggle a little bit. Um, but, yes, every win is a must win from this point on. Whatever wins we can uh, muster, definitely. Now, I don't consider this one a trap game, specifically um, OCL, because um, this is already a good team. I know their record doesn't translate to that this year, but it's tough in the West, and they've had a lot of... Uh, trouble with their coaching staff. They fired their coach early on, and they've been struggling with injuries as well. So, you know, uh, it is what it is, but we know Marcus Gasol's a problem. We know Mike Conley, one of the most consistent guards. He can light you up. Alonzo is not playing, but fortunately, your boy Brandon Ingram is playing, so that's good news. <coughs> That'll really help us in the half-court game, for sure. Um <laughs> You know, um, that'll really help us in the half-court game. Now, again, tonight is going to be crucial that we limit turnovers, like always, every single night. Key factors, man. We're going to need Brandon Ingram to step up. I know he's coming off of an injury. He's still a little bit injured. But we're going to need Brandon Ingram to uh, step up. Mike Conley's not playing tonight? Good to know. Doesn't matter. Next man up, it's an NBA, man. Anybody can torch us, not just Mike Conley. I, I think they have Tyreek Evans has been balling, too. So we got to watch out for those guards. Um... So, still, like I said, this is one of those games where you just got to, instead of play down to the competition, you got to play up. Free throws, definitely, definitely are a must. You know, we have to make at least 60, per, 60 to 65%. We've been on 50%. What kind of garbage is that? Definitely got to step it up. Um, bench has to continue to play well. Julius Randle has been playing well. Just a little out of control at times. And Clarkson needs to be more consistent. So, we need that. Um, and... Uh, you know, hopefully uh, Kuzma continues his domination, man. It's been fun. No matter what this season has been, guys, I know it's been a struggle at times, heartbreaking. We've dropped some games, but it has been a blast to watch the young kids, especially one that goes by the name of Kyle Kuzma. By the way, if you guys already haven't, please, please vote for him. You know, retweet his name, uh, hashtag NBA vote. And uh, <coughs> hopefully uh, we get our boy to the All-Star game. But right now it's looking good because he's trending. If the fans have a say, we're going to find out this year because he really is uh, trending. Evans is out too? Okay. I wasn't aware of that. Like I said, just got home, guys. Sometimes you guys, you know, put me on to stuff. Most of the time I put you guys on to stuff, but sometimes you put me on. So I appreciate that. Thank you guys for the um, for the knowledge. Like I said, just got home, man. I've been running around all day, running errands and stuff. So um, since I was under the weather, you know, stuff fell behind and I had to catch up. But, hey, if Tyreek Evans is out... And Mike Conley's out, we have a good chance. But we still got to worry about Marcus so. Hey, what's up, bro? You're the real MVP. Shout out to Josh Flames. You're the real MVP, man, for showing up, bro. Do you think we have enough cap next year to sign three players? LeBron, Cousins, and PG-13? As of right now, we don't even have enough cap to sign two players. But we could get that cap if we trade away guys like Dang, Clarkson. Guys with hefty contracts, then we could get on, you know. Right now, we're roughly like 40 to 50 million-ish. You know, um, that's enough for one max contract and a role player. Uh, we need to get under, like, by 60, 65 million for two max contracts. And we need to get, you know, up towards the um, 80 millions for three. So that sounds pretty difficult, but it can be done. Got to come out and make them match our energy. Definitely. Uh, <coughs> the good thing about starting Kuzma is we get off to stronger starts for sure. Now... The problem is by taking him out away from the bench, our bench weakens a little bit. Therefore, we struggle. You know, when the when we come to the bench a little bit, we've been struggling. That wasn't the case for the most part of the season when uh, Kuzma was coming off the bench. But 
That's when Clarkson and Randall have to make the adjustment. Love you too, Adam. I see you, bro. Uh, <clears throat> what do you expect from Ingram? He needs the uh, comeback game. I, I expect consistency from him. I, I want him to have like a 7 for 14 game or something like that. That would be great. You know, 50% shooting. Um, you know, he's coming back off of injury, so I don't expect him to go for 30. But that's why we got the boy Kuz. Now, who we're really going to miss is Lonzo. Because he facilitates the game for everybody and controls the pace. Hey, what's up, Combat Sports Talk? How you doing, my brother? <clears throat> we got this. Watching from Vegas. Shout out to Vegas. I see you, bro. We're neighbors. Dang makes 18 mil and JC makes 12 mil. So, if we do trades, though, that's 30 mil off the table. However, I doubt we can trade Dang. Never doubt it. Happy holidays to you, too, Combat Sports Talk. Never doubt it, but Magic has something off, up his sleeve, so I'm not even worried about it. They need to chill out a little bit on the Kuzma minutes. He's getting too much. He might hit a rookie wall a little early. That's something to monitor for sure, but like Luke said, man, and I'm happy Luke finally gave him his due because normally he's hating on the kid. He said, you know, it's hard to keep him off the floor the way he's been playing, so that explains that, man. Yes, uh, Brandon Ingram is active tonight, so that is the good news of, of this video, man. Hey, what's up, Jose? I see you, bro. Dan, did you see Ingram playing point guard tonight? That'd be great. I'll, I've been wanting him to play point guard for a long time. You know, unfortunately, now we have Lonzo. Not unfortunately. Fortunately, we have Lonzo now, so he he doesn't need to, you know, put that on his shoulders. But in a game like tonight, that'd be that'd be a pretty good idea, man. He, he can handle the ball, distribute it. He's actually a very underrated passer, so um, <clears throat> I would like him to run point. But I don't think it's going to happen. Luke has been putting other – I think Clarkson – Ennis or Josh Hart will start at point. I don't know which one. <coughs> Dan, I think we might be better off with just signing Boogie and retaining Clarkson and Randall and possibly KCP. No KCP, Nathan. No KCP. He's been horrendous. I know part of that could be because he wants to earn a new contract, but he's doing the opposite, man. He's playing himself out of L.A. So no KCP, but as far as signing Boogie... That's already an upgrade. As long as we're upgrading, I'm happy. I'm not expecting two All-Stars. That's what Magic is expecting. It'd be great, right? But as long as we're signing uh, an All-Star to two, I'm happy. That's all I want this summer. Gives the young kids more time to grow as well. If we only land one All-Star, he'll mesh in well. But anyways, Magic said he's going to land stars either via free agency or trade. So you can guarantee... Sooner or later, we're going to have a couple of All-Stars in here, so don't even worry about it. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Dirt Swimmer. <laughs> That's a funny name. You said get well, Dan. I appreciate you, bro. Only thing I heard right was get rid of KCP. Man, that's the only thing you want to hear right. Everything else was right, too, man. In all honesty, um, like I said, if we get one All-Star, that's already a success. The key is plugging players little by little, but plugging in the right type of players. What's good, little stick? I see you, bro. Are you going to play the game? Are you? No, I don't play the game on this channel, brother. We just talk. This is uh, the channel for the nation, man. We come here, we congregate, and we talk. <laughs> That's what we do here, man. Talk about Lakers post-game, pre-game. And now I'm starting to do halftime, so I'm definitely going to squeeze that in. You know, at halftime, if you guys don't want to watch TV, you can watch this channel and comment and all that good stuff, so... What superstars do you want us to go after, Dan? I've been saying it all year, man. It's definitely got to be DeMarcus Cousins and Paul George on our priority list. Plan B is probably going to be LeBron and Paul George. And Plan C is going to be DeAndre Jordan and somebody else. So we got to have Plan A, Plan B, and Plan C. But either way, you know, we got to get them stars, man. We got to land them. Zoe Kuzma Ingram is the core. Yes, sir. You got that right. Yes, sir. Is the internet going to work this time? Hopefully. It actually wasn't my internet, man. I'm telling you, sometimes YouTube trips, man, on the streams. I think it was because I streamed three videos that day, and all three of them were long. So I'm going to try to keep them, uh, you know, shorter and straight to the point. But we're going to get to that point, man. For sure. What you guys been up to, man? Talk to me, though. Well, uh, Adrian Wojnarowski apparently said the Lakers would go after LeBron, PG, and Cousins in that order. Again... And Magic, I trust, bro, but at the at the same time, I wouldn't make it in that order. But whatever, man. As long as we're going after stars, I'm happy. Clarkson will get traded before the deadline. That rumor uh, Adrian Wojnarowski put out, 
there was for le- leverage and a better trade package. I don't know. I don't know who's going to get dealt, but I do know something's going to happen. Magic doesn't strike me as the type to just lay low and let the team sink. I don't see it, man. <clears throat> what will we, we do with Luol Deng? We got options. I'm not sure as of this moment, but we got options. We might have to attach a young piece to him, you know, a la Clarks and Orlando to get rid of him. But I don't know. It's up to um, it's up to your boy. Dan, do you like the new jerseys? Oh, man, I seen the new jerseys on Twitter. Those things were fire, man. I think they're going to play with them tonight, right? So, yeah, they were pretty hot, man. I liked them, definitely. With the Nike symbol, the black and yellow. Never could go wrong with black and yellow, black and yellow. <coughs> I think the Pistons will trade Clarkson because Reggie went down. Well, if they could take Dang with them and throw us a second-round pick, let's do it. What if we lose Clarkson and Randall and strike out in free agency? What would our plan be? Picks. That's why you got to make sure you get assets in return. You can't just trade them away for cap space. You got to get assets for the future. Draft picks and prospects. We might stretch Dang. I agree. Some people don't want to believe that we could stretch Dang, but it could happen. They just don't want to see that $6 million a year salary. But it, honestly, with the, with the cap going up, it's not really going to hurt us for the next couple of years. We need DeAndre Jordan in PG-13. Uh, Boogie leads the league in turnovers and technical fouls. Not good. I think it's just he hasn't been a right fit for it, man. Honestly. I think he hasn't found his home, but I think this is his home. DeMarcus Cousins, this is a pitch to you, bro. Come home and act right. Right? You better get right because if not... LA fans could turn on you real quick, man. So, you know, we like loyal players who come here, give it 100, and help us win. That's what we need. And I think the markets can fit the description. We haven't had a tough player like that since Shaquille O'Neal, you know, a bully inside. So I'm looking forward to the prospect of having him here. Dan, we're in uh, the Minneapolis uniforms tonight. I love those two. <coughs> Is Kuzma better than Tatum? Are you in this with my brother? You know, I saw this, I believe, what was it on first take? No. It was on one of those Fox shows. They were talking about how Tatum is better than Kuzma because Kuzma has more opportunities. First of all, Kuzma has come off the bench for the most part of the season. All right, Kuzma is playing under the bright light, so he has the same kind of pressure that you know they have in Boston. And plus, the guy said Boston is playing for a championship. I don't know about all that. They ain't gonna beat you know the Golden State Warriors anytime soon. I'm not even sure if they could take out the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers. Just saying. So. <laughs> All I know is um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens there. But anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap it up because the game's about to start. I'm over here monitoring the screen from far. Um, I'll catch you guys at halftime. You guys already know I, I started integrating at halftime. So tune in, guys, and let's chat some more Laker basketball. Hopefully we have a lead and we're happy and not the other way around. So I'll catch you guys at halftime.